Home Bosses, welcome to my channel and thank you again for joining me today. Today I'm going to quickly show you a really good tool that I use to convert my PDFs and I really like this tool because when you make interiors or even covers on KDP Sometimes you need to convert a PDF to a JPEG or to some other file type and also sometimes you can convert it the other way around and convert a JPEG to a PDF. And I just wanted to show you a really good tool online that does a lot of things that I didn't even know you could do. So the tool that I use is called I Love PDF. So you go to ilovepdf.com and what I normally use this for is that when you make an interior on Canva, Canva only lets you have 100 pages. So if my book is more than 500 pages, then I can't really do it all on Canva. I have to, to merge two files or even three files. And I can do this all on I Love PDF. So if you have a look, let's take a look. We go on I Love PDF and it tells you all the things that you can do. You can merge PDFs. So if you have one or two or three or more PDFs, you can put them all together into one because as you know, Amazon KDP wants you to upload your interior as one PDF. You can split a PDF. This is useful when you, for example, you buy a ready-made interior on Creative Fabrica or from somewhere else and you just want some of the pages from it so you can use this to split the PDF. Compress PDF I've never used so I'm not quite sure what I would do with that but this is the one that I really use a lot convert PDF and I usually go on all PDFs tool and here you can really see what this tool can do. The first section is organizing your PDF so you can merge, split, remove pages, extract pages. The best one, the one that I always use is this one here, organize PDF. Because when I use that, it is so easy to do whatever you like with this PDF. I'll quickly show you. Let's click on that. And then I'm going to upload a PDF. So I'm going to upload this gratitude journal interior that I bought on Creative Fabrica. So, so I'm going to upload that. And you can see all the pages are coming up on I Love PDF. And then you can do a lot of things. You can remove pages by clicking this little delete button. You can rotate the pages. Sometimes you might need that. You can add pages in between. Um, you can add blank pages. This is really useful when you're making coloring books because when you're making a coloring book, you usually leave one page blank afterwards so that the colors don't bleed through the paper. So with this, it's really easy because you can just upload all your coloring pages and then just add a blank page after after each coloring page like that so that's really really easy you can add other interiors so you can click here and add more files and then you can reorganize them by moving this up and down so it's a really really handy tool to have for this kind of work but there are other things that you can do with it as well. So this is a really practical tool to have. I use this a lot. I think I use this every day, The especially this um, organized PDF function. So there are other things you can do. You can repair PDFs, you can compress PDFs and you can even do it the other way around. You can convert JPEGs to PDF or Word files to PDF or PowerPoint files to PDF. So there's a lot you can do, but the one that I really wanted to show you that I just think is absolutely fantastic is you can convert a PDF to a PowerPoint file. 
so you can convert your ready-made interiors into PowerPoint files. And, and that is so useful because you can then modify your interiors on PowerPoint. And PowerPoint is a really good tool to have for KDP. I think I mentioned it before that my first interiors that I produced for KDP, I made them all in PowerPoint because it's such a good tool to to use. And there are lots of tutorials on YouTube how to do that. And I think one of the first tutorials I watched was by Rebecca Holman. And they're absolutely brilliant tutorials for PowerPoint. So, you know, it's it's an alternative to Canva. I now use Canva for everything because I just got used to it. But PowerPoint probably has more versatility and more functions that you can use. So I really recommend this PDF to PowerPoint converter. And um, it's it's just making life a lot easier. And it's another little helpful tool. And we need all the help we can get in KDP. It's complicated enough. So this just really helps you. And there are other things that you can do. You can rotate PDFs, you can add page numbers, you can add a watermark, and you can even edit PDF, even though I've tried this one, and it's a little bit more difficult than than I thought. So I'm not quite sure, but you can always try and see how you get on with that. But really, the PDF to PowerPoint is fantastic. So I just want to show you what you can get in this, in this software, you can use the free version and that is absolutely enough for you. Um, you can do quite a lot of things in the free version. So the tools in that are included are all of them except for PDF to Word and PDF to PDF A. I'm, I'm not even sure what they are. So I've never used them, but you can use all the other ones that, that you need for KDP. You have unlimited tasks. You've got a secure connection. Um, more files per task. So this is how many you can actually do. So you can merge 25 files. Um, you can, it's a little bit limited, but I don't think you need that many anyway. And then the highest file size per task. So this tells you how many megabytes you can use on the free version. So that's, I would say also plenty. Um, for KDP. I don't think you need the pro version for this. I have the pro version because I use it for a lot more things. Don't forget that I use it for my blogs. I use it for my other businesses. So, so I do have the pro version, but for KDP, I think this is, this is enough for you. You can definitely use the free version and it's so useful. So I thought I'd just share this with you because it's a really good tool. I'm sure a lot of you have already used it, but I know there's some people that probably haven't. So for those people, I, I wanted to share this and just let you know that it's a very easy tool to use. There are other ones. You can use Best PDF Converter. That's another really good tool. I got used to I Love PDF and that's the one I'm using at the moment on the subscription. So I hope this has helped you and let me know in the comments if you're using I Love PDF or if you know of any alternatives. Maybe there's an even better tool out there that I don't know about. <laughs> so that would be nice if you can let me know what kind of tools you like, um, then that would really help everybody. Let me know in the comments what kind of tools you are using. Thank you so much again for listening to me and I would love it if you subscribed to my channel because then you can get notifications of my next videos. And all I need to say now is thank you so much to every single one of you. I appreciate you and I'll see you in my next video.